to give you an example of um, setup we can take for instance turning here where I have selected an, a feed rate of 0.3 millimeters length of cut of 25 millimeters an infeed of one millimeter hence a diameter reduction of two millimeters have to start the spindle just very very slow but just to get to the sub menu here see the rpm up here i've already uh, made uh, the set an x zero zero so i start and there you can see its uh, ability with the with the the niceness of the large screen um, <clears throat> As I said, 0.3 millimeter for uh, feed, 25 millimeter length, one millimeter reduction radius. Here, to get to that, we have selected, or the, it's uh, uh, pre-selected. I'll be having two rough passes and one fine pass. I can alter that, of course, to any. Of these let's say I take nine passes at at uh, or actually ten passes at 0 0.1 millimeter the same if I now go to for instance external thread I select a thread of uh, let's say 1.5 millimeter I have uh, let's say 10 millimeter length and uh, one millimeter depth then I can start the spindle again just to get down to the menu where I can see the how it looks like and this is the suggestion then also with nine passes which I will be able to adjust up and down as I like it says here also alternate flank and what that means is that uh, um, it selects one of the four modes of operation for threading I mean that this now goes both radial in feed and a flank in feed at an angle set here at 60 degrees so I can change that by going to the parameter menu here to stop it I go to uh, cut mode and instead of alternate flank I can select other radial, radial infeed or the most used flank infeed which means that it goes in with 60 degrees I can change the flank angle for instance to 30 degrees if I want to do that so down here and then start again and now it's at 30 degrees and it's flank in feed so it just cuts on the flank say I want to go to the some of these other menus like uh, convex radius you see here it also talks about or <laughs> you see here also it says something about the radius here and that is the radius on the tip this can be also set namely and all these different parameters are set if I go to the parameters menu here where you can see it sets we can also go into the parameters menu so I have uh, in this case um, English language I have the mode lock on so that I cannot change the mode while the spindle is running I have uh, su suggested uh, impulses per revolution as is uh, recommended of the spindle pitch which is the 8 TPI um, lead screw gives me I have set the backlash this can be set for the set as it is here and also for the x axis axis of course and I have uh, different like steps per revolution acceleration slow 
and fast movements. I have the same for the set ax for the x-axis, and then I have the setup data for the um, the number of passes you recall in the different menus where we talked about was a uh, rough and finish. These parameters are set here. Maybe that rough should be half a millimeter in. I could change that if I don't want that number. Same for the finish. And of course also here, step size if I want to go namely step by step, which you can do both in set and X direction with this button here. So you can actually step in with the number set here in addition to jogging both slow and uh, fast. Same for the X. And then setups uh, for the um, uh, inputs, the IO possibilities. So altogether a lot of possibilities. And as I said, there is a slow and fast jog possibility. And you can also then do steps in both directions here. So you can actually step the, the, the cutter along in the steps given here in the parameter menu we just saw. So in addition to the jog buttons here, which of course jogs the, um, um, the set axis slow and fast and the same with the x slow and fast in both directions um, you also have the, the steps so um, if you follow the screen you will see that when i press the x step there will be an x step button or indication here and i can step if you follow that you save it here so moves so we'll set up in one hundredth of a millimeter you can of course also follow this here of course you may use it here also manually if you want to and the same goes for the set axis I just set step and then I do the same here Which, which of course moves the, if you want the precise step. I've now also set up the spindle, uh, I mean controlling the VFD. So I have, uh, let's see, spindle output active, yes. I have uh, spindle run up one second. I have not connected any automatic stop set, but I have the auxiliary output active. That means the spindle RPM 0 to 10 volt analog output set in the way that I have 2500 RPM at the max. Okay, so when I start the spindle, I can start by then only switching the motor control on and I can adjust the RPM here so this is uh, just me adjusting the button here controlling the EFT up there easy Great. So I now connected um, the stop switch and just the limits uh, switch here just to show. So if I push the limit switch here, 
So, see, it's active or off. The same goes with the, with the stop switch, of course. Of course, this <coughs> must be programmed to stop the motor also. And that is done in this menu here, where I just go down to say follow, e stop follow active, and I can have a delay before it shuts down. So uh, now the spindle output, and then will be shut down when I have an e stop or an emergency stop. So then let's try that. Just uh, select, um, for instance, and here, motor on, RPM. I start a threading operation, or no, I start a turning operation. Okay, and then hit the start. You can see in here everything functions. Now, when we move closer here, we can use the start the stop button. Everything shuts off. 